one discipline that bridges that gap already to some extent is genomics. In clinical genomics, there are clinically validated approaches to read out your genome, identify certain variants and certain genes that puts you at a higher risk or gives you a higher risk predisposition for specific diseases, right? And then there are clinical protocols that help you address that in a preventative way. For example, if you have a variant in BRCA, do you know that if you're a woman, certain OBGYN cancers, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, you have now a very elevated risk, and then you can actually do certain things. For example, increase the uh, screening frequency and the age where screening begins. So you can actually intercept the cancers much more effectively. Uh, and so here we have in genomics, basically the first time that we have clinically validated guidelines that are on a more subtle risk level and are being translated into things that can actually be life-saving.